What's up everybody? You got Lucas and Addy here. We found a nice little bench so Addy can finally be tall again for us. So today what we're gonna go through is Gresham, Oregon. You guys asked for it, you're gonna get it. Let's go check out what it has to offer. All right, everybody, thank you again so much for tuning in. Again, I'm Lucas Holt, and we got Addy Net over here for you guys. If this is your first time on the channel, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and hit that bell button to be notified every time we put out a new video for you. And again, do not hesitate, give us a call, give us a text, or give us an email anytime, 24 seven, put us to work for you. So again, what we're gonna do is go through Gresham, Oregon today. We're standing here right now at one of the Butte parks for us. Take a look at the views Beautiful. for us. We are a bit further east on all of the uh, Portland suburbs for us. We're gonna go check out some of the main parts of town for you, the shopping centers, all of that kind of stuff. And we're gonna show you what the homes and all that looks like around here. So stay tuned. For the record, we just rolled through the most expensive properties that you can find in the Gresham area. So it's a common, common situation where people get online and they look at Gresham and they're like, oh my gosh, these are incredible deals. However, there are good and bad parts of Gresham and the houses we just showed there are incredible, but they are starting in the high 900s and going beyond. So there's a very, very, uh, what would you say? It's a wide field goal in the terms of different styles of homes. That's right? exactly yeah. it. I mean, Gresham can change up dramatically on you. So a lot of Gresham, what Gresham is known for is kind of being the more affordable area of town for us. Um, and you definitely see that with the aesthetics and homelessness and stuff that can kind of come with that. With that being said, it doesn't do anybody justice to completely mark off Gresham off of your territory list because there are some really, really nice areas of Gresham like we just went through. All right, so we're here now in what would be considered downtown Gresham for you. You can see the Best Buy right behind me here, but this is the cool little shopping center that they have. So lots of really cool, nice big box stores and everything for us out here. So that's the one really cool thing about Gresham is that there is a lot of shopping in this area. You need it, they got it. If you need it, they got it. I mean, you have this, you have the outlet mall that is actually right over in Troutdale. So just what, like that 10 minute drive for us. So if you're interested in that, definitely a lot of shopping for you. So this would be your downtown area for you. We'll go drive around here a little bit so you can get a little bit of a feeling for it. This is the Gresham Station North. So not far from where we showed you at that max stop line, but a lot of it's newer developments. It's Good got- old a, downtown. You're right off the uh, the max line there. So easy commute if you're trying to get back into Portland for work or vice versa. we got an LA Fitness. All this looks pretty fresh and nice. I'm actually pretty pleasantly surprised. It kind of reminds me of Orenco Station in Beaverton. The guy that you can't get out from behind his desk is pleasantly surprised right now. I so mean, those are uh, good vibes going yeah, past as all, I mean, definitely there are the good parts of Gresham. There are the bad parts of Gresham. Yeah. Right now, we're definitely rolling through the 
best part of the, the rest best. for you. But we're gonna um, show both. Oh, there used to be a, look at that old big K. <laughs> well, there's an Applebee's too. They still got, you don't see a lot of franchise stuff out in the you know, Metro, but I hear they got it. You know, everybody makes fun of Applebee's, but their mozzarella stick <laughs> slap. All right, so right now we are actually standing at the Max Line stop here in Gresham, right downtown for us. Just wanted to get your uh, looks over here just so you can see what it looks like. So as we're going through Gresham here, I mean, it is important to note you do have the Max Line coming here. And we always say stay away from locating on the Max Line itself. For your house. For your house. You can exactly. be near the Max Line physically, just we don't want you to back. Exactly. So, I mean, there's there's a bunch of riffraff that really comes off of it, whether it be the homelessness coming off from downtown, all that kind of stuff. So it is a nicer stop, but if you look in the news and everything, you might see some stuff specifically regarding this stop for you. Um, so it's not as desired of a spot to be next to, but wanted to show you just so you knew that, hey, right from downtown, there is really great public transportation options for you. So this right now that we're driving down is like kind of your standard Gresham for you. So SG. Yeah, yeah. So standard. I, I wouldn't Gresham. necessarily say that this is a good part of Gresham. I wouldn't say that this is a bad part of Gresham whatsoever. We're actually right next to the Gresham golf course for you. Put it on the map. So this will actually this neighborhood gives you a little bit better of a feel of like what the average neighborhood in Gresham is going to look like for you. So definitely, again, not like I, Gresham gets a really bad rap from a lot of people, but I think one thing to note too is that you are right on a very busy street here as well. This, this neighborhood itself, the street is very quiet, but you go up to the stop sign and you're on an extremely busy road for you. That's what you see with a lot of Gresham is being right next to a lot of really busy roads too. So even though you might be on a street that's a little bit tucked back, if you take a two minute walk, you're gonna be right on a really busy street. All right, we just concluded our Gresham tour. We're, uh, are we gonna get moving? Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're headed home now. <laughs> so one thing to know about Gresham is it's really easy to start looking at it on the map because there's such great pricing out here. But in summary, you're gonna give up kind of the cleanliness, the safety and crime for a lot more options in real estate, a lot more options and starting price points and bigger lots. Exactly, and I mean, I again, I'm not redlining this area whatsoever. I've helped people into Gresham, and I mean, I have one client, we just moved in around Thanksgiving time a little bit earlier than that, and he loves it there. Um, with that being said, there's been a lot of families that we've helped move into Gresham, and it's just not somewhere that they wanted to stay because the housing is very attractive. I mean, there's definitely some pockets that are really cool, really nice, uh, bigger lots, bigger square footage for you, but always take that with a grain of salt. Start looking at your crime statistics and all of that kind of stuff and see why, you know, hey, it might be a little bit lower end on the cost for you. So Gresham, again, not the worst place in the world. There's definitely worse places out there in the nation. Um, but again, that's why you need to choose a realtor and a financer like we have on our team here, because we're gonna give you that good, the bad, the ugly, and we're gonna help you find those good pockets within every area for you. Yeah, so if you're planning to move to the Portland metro area, you gotta give us a call. Give us a text, whatever it takes. We really wanna get to know you and your story. 
Yeah. And then uh, hit that like and subscribe button as always for you guys. And uh, have a good one. Looking forward to talking to you guys. Have a good one. Thank you.